This thing is a beast, so if you're wanting a good drift car, 100% do recommend the Infinity. Oh my god. What is going on guys, Iceman here coming at you with another video. We are back here in Forza Horizon 4. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch the video of me building this beautiful Bronco. It was, um, ugly. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. We're actually going to be doing some wheel spins. I got a few to, uh, use up here. So, let's go ahead and do that and do what we can get. Whatever car we get is the car that we build into a drift car. So hopefully we get something good. Alright, I'll take that. Infinity Q50 is what we're going to be building for a drift car today. We got the shark wellies though. <laughs> oh my god. I really, I really hate these wheel spins. Uh, we got another spin to do, so might as well just do it. We got the Q50 is what we're going to be building today. Uh, if I get a car here, we are not going to be using it. And we got a McLaren 720S. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but not what we're building today. So let's go ahead and get back into the house here and see what we can do with this Q50. All right, guys, here we are. We didn't make a Q60 concept drift car. So today we are doing the Q50 Ew Rogue. Oh, Rogue. Whatever the crap, however you say it. We're just going to call it the Q50 for this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. It is all wheel drive already. Um, and you know what, um, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna take it out and, uh, make it rear-wheel drive, of course, so select it, get in the car, and let's see what we can do. It's actually a pretty good-looking car, so I'm kind of excited for this. Um, yeah, let's hope that, um, we get a good, um, amount of power from it, because I like to just go balls to the wall with, when it comes to the power, so... Why not? Let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and make it rear wheel drive because why Why not? It doesn't look like we got a whole lot of performance that we can do to it. Could throw a big wing on there. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just get all the, gra the <laughs> graphics. Let's get all of the uh, visual upgrades for it. Why not? Uh, for the wheels, we can go with... We'll just leave it stock tires. We'll leave the stock width as well um, for the actual wheels themselves um i was thinking maybe we could go with um where is it bbs bbs go with those guys no those guys hmm yeah let's do it go with those and then we'll leave the size and track with we'll leave it we'll leave it stock uh we'll get all of these because we want all of the adjustability that we will unlock with getting all this stuff and then also uh, the weight reduction for the drivetrain as well is always nice. Uh, we're going to get everything here as well. Drift rings. Roll bars. Roll cage. All of the above. We are going to make this thing into a beautiful, beautiful drift car. So, there we go. And performance wise, we're getting everything here as well. Squeeze as much power out of this engine as we can. Hopefully we can uh, bust 1000 horsepower. We'll see. I've I have a feeling we, we will, so it's, it's a strong possibility, and, you know, why not? Let's see here, what's race twin turbos, twin turb skis for sure, and then cooling and flywheel, boom, how much power do we got here, we'll see here when I install this setup, boom, 1,002 horsepower, we are over 1,000 horsepower, that is right, <laughs> I'm not going to clickbait that one, That is a, that is a fact. We're over a thousand horsepower and we're down to 3,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and buy this and let's get to some tuning and maybe see if there's some liveries out there. I'm not sure. Um, probably not. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to look at liveries, but you know, we'll, we'll just leave it a stock color. Uh, so we'll go ahead and back into the garage because I'm an idiot. Um, and we'll go tune. No, not my tunes. Tuning. Um, front we're gonna leave the same rear we're gonna bump that up to a 35 gearing we'll leave it for now go to a negative two on the rear for alignment and then we're gonna get fully stiff suspension that is my preference it may not be the best for everyone that is my preference and then we're going full lock 
on the different no so there we go apply that and let's go ahead and see what this thing can do we're gonna leave it just a stock color here um mostly because i can't look at the liveries right now so let's go ahead and test this guy out all right guys i decided to head on over to fortune island because i feel like this is a much better place to be testing this out at so we're we're gonna give it a go here at fortune island as we almost hit that car and we are going to see what this thing can do definitely feels really good the gearing i might change a little bit make it a tiny bit shorter so we can use that fifth gear a little bit more and see what we can do here all right let's go ahead and go uphill here at needle climb and see what we can do Changing some gears up here. Not too bad through the first corner. Got a throttle. Got to do a little bit of throttle control there. And almost spin out there. Ugh. It has been so long since I've been to Needle Climb. It's not even funny. This Infinity does feel really good. It sounds good. I really like the sound of these Infinities. Uh, the Q50 sounded really good too, so definitely, or the Q60, sorry. Definitely recommend those engine sounds <laughs> if there's a recommendation for those. If you're wanting a good sound in car, there you go. Not too shabby so far. 100k coming up through here. Feeling pretty good, as it looks like the rain is just about to start. Of course, that's usually how it goes for me when it comes to needle climb. The rain kind of rains on my parade, I guess you could say. <laughs> Gearing doesn't feel horrible. I mean, I definitely feel like maybe I could shorten it just a tiny bit. We can use that fourth and fifth gear a little bit more. But otherwise, it feels really good. Really makes me want to go look at some infinities, that's for sure. <laughs> In real life, that is. People. Real life. Alright. 250,000 through here. Not too shabby. It feels really good. It's nothing compared to the SRT-10, though. The Viper's ridiculous. This is more of a realistic drift build. And right as we get to the top, I see the rain kind of settling on the screen. I think we're going to beat the rain from getting in here. Oh. Yeah, she feels really good. 321,000 going uphill. That's going uphill, guys. That's pretty good. These no objective complete apparently. Didn't know that there was an objective here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and actually shorten up those gears just a tiny bit, and uh, see if maybe that'll help with. Um, which way is this way? Maybe we'll see if that helps with, you know, just kind of keeping those gears either in between fourth and fifth gear is definitely what I'm going for. So let's go ahead and try it. Downhill run. Here we come. The drift run rank. Oh, I didn't even get in the drift zone. Cool. Let's go ahead and restart that, huh? I didn't realize it was still running through all those stats stuff. Alright. Let's try again. Downhill run, here we come. Let's give this a go. I feel more confident going downhill. So 321 was our uphill run. Gotta keep that in mind. As we keep good control through the second corner, down through the third. And nice transition over to the fourth and the fifth. Oh yeah, 
She feels really good. Ooh, yeah. Probably one of my best builds yet. I'm gonna put, if I'm gonna toot my own horn, I'm gonna toot my own horn. Seriously, one of the best ones I've done so far. I really like the fourth gear, it does feel really good. This is the harder corners yeah, as I spin it. That is one of the harder corners to get through. It's very sharp, so you have to slow down quite a bit to make the corner. And then you also don't want to put too much power down because then you'll, you'll definitely spin it out like I just did there. And it doesn't help that it's raining right now because that makes it slipperier and definitely aids in the sliding. So when you're not expecting that, it definitely will affect your run. But otherwise, not too shabby. Three twenty-one is the downhill or the uphill score to beat, and we're already creeping up on that three hundred thousand. So I have no problems in saying we're gonna smash that amount of points. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna destroy that score going downhill, but downhill is always easier in my mind. Oh, almost, almost lost it there. So we've already beat the score now, so now it's just for bragging rights as I spin out again. Ah, please don't get stuck here. Please don't get stuck here. Don't want to lose my drift score. Alright, good. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't lose that. And final corner, downhill was a little, uh, a little bit messy, but you know what, 356,000 points going downhill, I will take it. You guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are on the build, you have to let me know if you've done anything different than what I did, I definitely am interested. This thing is a beast, so if you're wanting a good drift car, 100% do recommend the infinity, oh my god. That was really close. Alright, I definitely do recommend the Infinity. What is this, the Q50? Definitely recommend it. If you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and get it. I don't even know if it's a wheel spin exclusive car or not. You could probably buy it in the festival. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for coming to the video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun doing it. You guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are again. Leave a comment below. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. That way I know you're interested in seeing this content and want to see more. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That way you can join me in these crazy, insane drift builds I do. So go ahead and do that. While you're at it, turn on those notifications. That way I know you, or that way you'll get notified when I go live or post a new video. And that way you're in the, constantly in the loop for what I'm posting. So thanks for coming to the video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in another one.